What's up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Badoo Guy Vibes here coming to you again with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you four random pickups that I've picked up from the point of my last video until today's date. These pieces are so random, but I really felt like I needed to come out with another video, so I thought, let's just do it, let's get straight into it. As you guys know, Australia winter is around the corner, man. It's already autumn, it gets freezing, freezing cold, man. So I have no hoodies whatsoever, and so that's a sneak peek of what we're gonna have. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. For my first piece today, guys, I have this basic oversized black tee by Zara. Now, this tee is amazing in terms of quality and how much I paid for it. Um, I paid 30 bucks for this. Now, we all know that Zara does try to rip off really high-end fashion and tries to do it at a lower price point. Like, they try to do the very black, dark side, oversized fit, like kind of like Rick Owens. But um, with this fit, man, for 30 bucks, I will not complain. Like, this tee fits like the Claude Moore step. Hey, my previous videos, just give me a sec. It fits exactly like this tee here. This is, I paid like $60 for this and it retails for $120. And this is like all drapey and stuff like that. But this does the exact same thing, man. It is unbelievably like, it's, it fits drapey in all the right areas. There's not much detail on this Sara piece like from what I can see. There's no back seam going down the middle or anything like that. The only real detail they looked into is the shoulder seams. Now usually they sit around here, but these have exaggerated and become lower. So they've done like, it's almost like a seam coming from here down. So the actual sleeve sits lower, like past your elbows, almost like a baseball kind of thing. In terms of sizing guys, I've got this in a large. Now, if you go to true size, it will be oversized and drapey if that's what you're looking for. If not, I'll suggest going down a size for your normal fit. Now, in terms of trying to buy this, I bought this at High Point Shopping Center in the Zara store there. They have like random pieces from their collection spread out through all of like Melbourne, which is freaking just stupid. I was probably just calling and seeing if they have it. If I was to call up, I would just say, do you have the black oversized tee? Because when I bought this, it has like a sticker saying oversized. So I assume they understand. But anyways, enough talking, let's get on to the next piece. My second piece for you today is this white viscose tee by Uniglo. Now this is a killer, man. This is i mean it's so soft and lightweight like it's it's uncomparable to even that zara tea or the or claw moss tea like this tea isn't like you can't wear it alone because it's so see-through i don't know if you guys can see but you can probably see my hand through that reflection right there but you can't pull it off just by itself you always gotta wear it underneath something like the hoodie in terms of detail there's not much to it at all there's only, like, it's just the most basic tee. It's got the side seams. It's got the crew neck collar that sits a little bit wide. It's not, like, constricting to your neck. Um, nothing on the back. If you guys can see, nothing on the back. Now, this actual tee is called the Airism tee. Uh, it's kind of weird to say, but um, I can understand why it's called Air because it's so freaking light. It's unbelievable. It's almost like you're not wearing anything. It's kind of creepy, but yeah, you get what I mean. It comes in, like, a Ziploc bag that's, like, airtight and, like, confines the t-shirt into like this size. Not much just to say, it's just a basic tee. I just bought this just to have another tee in my collection. I mean, it's just, it's pretty stupid, but it's always good to have underneath something and then going light layers so you don't get too hot. Without further ado, let's get on to the hoodie. My third pickup for you today is this plain black hoodie by a brand called Spencer Project. Shout out to General Pants. I got this at Chaston Shopping Center and they had it there in my size and everything. And it was $60 now. I mean, for a hoodie for 60 bucks, that is a really good price considering the quality on this. You just have the white drawstrings right here. There's not much detail at all. It's just like you just got the cuffs here. You've got the cuff down the bottom. I'm very picky when it comes to hoodies, man. Like, it's unbelievable. I don't like the hoodies that have that stitching like it's an X like underneath the neck. I just don't. I can't fancy that, man. With this one, it doesn't have that stitching like underneath your neck or anything. It's got like one part of the hoodie overlaps the other and then comes over, so which is pretty cool. Um, nothing on the back, as you can see, nothing much to it. Uh, it's just your basic plain black hoodie, man. Now in terms of sizing, they only had a double XL and an XL and the rest were like graphic hoodies. But with this one, I grabbed the XL and maybe could have gone to a large. I'm still happy with this one. Um, I can still put a uh, t-shirt underneath, so that's good for layering. 
for future reference, I'm gonna put side zips on this because I freaking hate this cuff down the bottom, man. Like, I know probably a lot of YouTubers have said this before, but when you put a t-shirt underneath the hoodie that's got this cuff, it goes really up and then your t-shirt's got it bunched up and it looks completely stupid. So, side zips, preferably matte black because I'm not gonna go gold or anything, that's too over the top. I will leave the link in the description down below. Now, the official name for this hoodie is called the Raucous Hoodie in Black. Now, this is a General Pants exclusive to Spencer Project. So what that means is that Spencer, Spencer Project only sells the general pants and you can only get it through their um, online or in store. So without further ado, let's get on to the last pickup that I have, which is the most amazing and comfiest set of pants I have right now. My last piece for you today, guys, is this pair of slim tapered stretch jeans by Uniqlo. Now this is the comfiest set of jeans you will own today, I can guarantee you. I really prefer the elasticity at the top, so like where you where the button flies. Now I got these in a 35 and a 35 in the waist and a 34 in length. And I am a 35 pushing 36, but these just you have so much room to breathe in the waist and everything because it's stretchy, it's got elastine in it. Now I'm gonna get a tailored, shout out to my weather. She's gonna get these tailored for me because you know she's the best when it comes to sewing and stuff. There's not much else to it, it's just a black set of jeans. It's got a little bit tapered, but when I say tapered, it's like not even down. Um, this is probably about a six inch opening. And since it's stretchy, I am probably gonna push it to about four because um, as you guys know, with Represent, some of their collections, I know Anthony X Doe has said this on his previous videos, when you put your foot in, it's so small that you can't slide your foot in. You almost have, it's like you have to make a slit so your foot will actually fit in because it's that tapered. But if you get these, I can guarantee you, if you get them tapered to like your preferred length, it's almost like a cuff, that small, um, you'll still be able to get your footing because it's still really, really stretchy. I will show you how this looks like on the body. I did pay 40 bucks for this, man. $40 for the best fitting jeans that you can get. It, it amazes me that no one has spoken about these jeans before. I will put a link in the description down below. Now, as I said, I did pay 40 bucks. Now, I can't remember if it was on special or not because when I went in, they had a special on raw denim and I think it was a stretch denim. I'm not 110% sure, but all I know is, man, best fitting jeans to date. So that is the end of the video. Thanks again for watching. As always, I always appreciate your comments and likes and all the subscribers that I have. I have a few plans for my 300 subscribers. So let's pray I get there as quick as possible. As always, follow me on my Instagram and Twitter at Verdugo Vibes. It'll be somewhere in the screen right here. I know it's only four things, but I really wanted to get my, I just really wanted to put out another video. I am pushing for money right now because this car is costing me a lot. Like I say, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Peace.